Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are again back at Lone Star Lake and paying attention to a lot of my viewers. I have gotten a number of requests for the smallmouth buffalo as well as the catfish and the red ears. I'm going to check out some of the new spots for these guys as well as seeing what I can do about getting the smallmouth buffalo. That seemed to be the biggest request. We may have to make this into two episodes. I don't know. This may take a little while for me to get through all this. But I'm also going to be introducing a lot of the new baits that have come out since I have played. There's a lot more that are for these particular species. There's even a few that I can't even get yet, like sweet peas and sweet corn, which I'm sure they go for. But we are going to go over here to this particular location to start off with. It is early, early morning, 5 a.m., and I'm telling you, that's probably, well, at least it used to be, the best time to fish for the smallmouth buffalo. Now, yes, it is a little bit on the cloudy side. Not cloudy, but foggy. But I have set up my gear a little more friendly, guys. This, the gear that I have is a lot lighter, a little something that you guys can get at lower levels, so you don't have to worry about... Oh, I don't have the kind of gear that I need here, but let me go ahead and get this, show you what I've got for these guys. Now, the first one I have is my Nero 14 foot by 10 inch, and it is a lighter rod. It's not a, it's not a ultra light, but it is a lighter rod, and it's 5 to 13 pounds, and we have got to start off with on this one we're going to be using wax worms that's when we start going on the, uh, after the red ears now the red ears are going to be there's a lot of new baits for them I mean they will go for the blood bait they will go for the uh, pet food maggots red maggots wax worms red worms and yellow maggots these yellow maggots and red maggots are all brand new so I'm going to probably be testing those out just to see how well they they work for these guys. I've also got my Phoenix 14 foot by 10 inch. Now this I've got already set to about, well, there we go, 60. So that's going to be the one I'm going to be using primarily for the smallmouth buffalo. We're going to start with dough balls. Now these guys will also go for semolina balls, peas, as far as I know, that's all they normally go for. They might go for the occasional wax worm. As far as these others, I don't know. We'll have to just see, and give it a try, and see what happens. All right. Now we'll focus on the lure fishing a little later. Right now, we're going to stick with this. Now I'm going to fish for these guys right out here, usually between 100 meters and. 80 meters seems to be the best location now as far as the bottom goes it really is a little bit deeper here but nothing major it's not like some of the spots further to the north there's a deep hole over there that I want to test out for red ears now that's actually a really good spot to start off with we're just gonna leave it there Let's see it's just touching bottom because it's starting to lean a little bit so that's what you want now it's just a matter of waiting guys Let's see if these guys will start biting here there we go yeah that little ding is new too every time I hear that I've, it throws me but apparently that's something new for me used to be you just had to watch now it lets you know that something is biting now, something was interested in it but it seems to have lost interest now, one thing you can do to help yourself a little bit is if things get a little slow slowly tap it and bring it in. Sometimes that seems to get their attention. 
It's worked for me countless times in the past and it still seems to work. There we go, finally. I'm not so sure this is what we're after here, guys. He's... That's a bluegill. Now let's try out a little bit further. Maybe we'll get a little more activity further out. There we go. No. It's a golden shiner. Still not what we're after. Hmm. Tell you what, let's up the ante a little bit here, guys. Let's give them what they want. Seems to always be the best bait for these guys. Catfish like it too. So if you can, as soon as you can get these, I'm telling you, it's probably the best bait you can grab for not only these, but for carp as well. There we go. And I think this is what we were after, just like I said. P seem to be the the main attraction for these guys. Oh no, it's a young channel catfish. Well, they'll go for it too, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was certain that was smallmouth. There we go. I don't know. I'm not so sure about this. this Maybe another catfish. Yep. <laughs> of course, if I was after catfish, I guess I'd be catching smallmouth buffalo, wouldn't I? Well, anyway, they go for those too. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Let's try putting a bigger hook on there. That might make a little bit of a difference. Go number two. I'm going to try a little bit deeper here. It used to be 81 was the perfect depth for these guys. I don't know why it doesn't seem to work as well anymore. Yeah, it's like they've made it more shallow, but it is resting on the bottom. It's not completely off because it's still at an angle, which is good. See, as long as it's got about a 45 degree angle, usually it's okay. Yeah, it seems like 81 is still the best. I don't know why that is, but it is. Of course, I'm still catching the catfish.
it seems like you're going to get one or the other. And usually at a pretty rapid pace. Now the young catfish don't quite bring in as much as the smallmouth buffalo though. It's the only thing. There we go. Okay, this is what we're after, guys. I can tell just by the strength this guy's pulling. Yep. There we go. There's your nice little smallmouth buffalo. $66. We're going to go ahead and take a picture of him real quick. That is the fella. That's what we're after here. Mm, wow, I'm so jerky right now. Alright, let's keep him. Let's go back to the dough balls now that we kind of got the right location. Kind of like to catch them off of something that I know you guys can catch them that you can access. I'm gonna throw right out there where I had it before. Sun, sun's starting to come out, which is good too. That makes things a little bit better. There we go. Come on, big guy. There we go. Now they're acting like they got some sense. Yeah, 81 inches is what I've seemed to have the most success with still to this day. I don't know what it is or why it is, but that is the amount, guys. Now, semolina balls will also attract them. I'm going to see if I can't get just one more here. But like I said, you have to be a little bit bigger level to get to the peas and the semolina balls. So dough balls will work. I'm not sure about bread. I honest to God have never tried it. There we go. No, I don't think we got us a small mouth buffalo, but we got got a little something. Let's see what it is. Probably one of those golden shiners again. Nope, blacktail shiner. That's new. Hmm. Yeah, they're kind of small too. They're pretty much bait. <laughs> but alright. Now, 